hi everyone and welcome back to our Sociedad Honoraria Hispanica meetings. So this is going to be our second to last um, meeting of the year. It's going to be the last meeting if you're a senior. Um, so this is our early April meeting. As always, before you get started, just make sure to put your six digit student ID in the chat. Uh, don't put any other text. You don't have to put your name, just the ID is okay. As usual, we have our quiz time. So for this meeting, the question is, ¿Cuándo es el Día Panamericano? And una pista es, se, se celebra en toda América Central y del Sur. So if you know the answer, you can either unmute yourself and say it, or you can put it in the chat. Good, somebody put the, that's the right answer. So uh, before we get started with the meeting, I just wanted to congratulate the new officers. So next year's officers, uh, they'll be introducing themselves. So yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Emily. I will be next year's president and I'm a rising senior. So Boston is a word I use unironically um yeah an interesting fact is i put honey and guacamole once um i don't recommend it it tasted really disgusting and i love how shh encourages the continuous exploration of hispanic culture in a variety of ways so that includes like enrichment community services um socials just so many things that we can get involved with uh, i became an officer to provide unique opportunities that hopefully will bring memorable experiences to you Hi, my name is Ivan Tong and I'm going to be next year's vice president. I'm also a rising senior and my catchphrase is yo chill because some of my friends are kind of crazy. They all calm down sometimes. And so I always say that. Um, an interesting thing about me is that I love dancing and my first cover with my new dancing group is coming up next week. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, something that I love about SHH is its ability to encourage students to be more active in the Spanish speaking community and learn more about the Spanish culture and language through a variety of opportunities. And I became an officer to enrich the understanding and appreciation of the Spanish language and culture through these meaningful opportunities, like I said. Hi, my name is Anna. Um, I'm going to be your events coordinator, one of them. I'm an incoming senior. Um, it's, an, it's, it's a buffer I tend to use uh, probably more than I should. Um, I enjoy painting and photography, and I enjoy traveling and seeing new things. Um, I love how diverse uh, Spanish National Honor Society truly is. It's nice to see how enriching the community is with you know, all the cultures that surround us. And I became an officer because I wanted to be involved with the community that I care about and take some responsibility. Hi everyone, my name is Karina Kamal. I am one of the event coordinators for next year. Currently I'm a sophomore. A phrase that I use a lot is what because I'm genuinely always confused. An interesting fact about me is that I somehow messed with the ratio between water and oats when making instant oatmeal. So I haven't really tried that since then. I love SHH because of the flow of creative ideas that contribute towards an interactive and fun learning environment. And I became an officer to help put together engaging events that help widen awareness of Hispanic culture. Hey guys, I'm Sonia. I'm going to be this coming year's um, public relations officer. I'm an incoming senior and a catchphrase that I use a lot is AO play that BTS song because I really do love BTS. Um, interesting fact about me is I play electric guitar and I'm learning how to ride a motorcycle, so that's exciting. Um, I love seeing something I grew up with being embraced and adored by a school through SHH, and I became an officer to further connect with my culture as well as share it with other people and dispel the myths and stereotypes surrounding Latina spaces and people. And I want to help my people and community while providing a positive experience to all of you guys. Okay, so David isn't here today, um, so if you guys would like to learn more about him, this will be posted on our website, so feel free to check it out. So um, our hours and enrichments are due soon. So for um, seniors, it's due this week on Friday, and for non-seniors, it's due um, on April 30th. And as usual, you should know that your hour and enrichment uh, sheet must be submitted by the Google Forms that's posted on our website. And you need to provide a personal email so that you can actually get confirmation that your submission went through. 
and it'll appear as a document in your Google Drive. So do not delete the file until we have checked your hours. And even after we suggest that you keep it as documentation just in case that it's needed. Remember the National Spanish exam, um, the first part took place yesterday and the second part is today. It's at 3 p.m. so don't forget. If you want to check out for more information and you sign up for it, just make sure you look at your emails because Dr. Torres has provided um, a lot of instructions. As you know, Abrisius is a student journal published by the National SHH organization. And so you can submit anything, and as long as the topic falls under la diversión y los juegos. And so you must submit your email to Senor Torres by April 15th, so that's in around eight days. And you can earn zero to two hours depending on the quality. And if it is published in the official document or the official website, then you can earn many additional credits. And so all the details are on our website like before. So we will be hosting our last fundraiser of the year at Fajitas Pete's located in, at the Siena Plantation. It's on Monday, April 19th from 4 to 8.30 p.m. and we have no school that day. So the opportunity is also one enrichment. You need to provide a picture of your food, your receipt, and a brief explanation of the food's cultural and historical significance um, through a Google form that's going to be provided. Um, make sure you mention and use our code, which is right there, um, when ordering, so you can receive, uh, or you will allow SHH to receive a portion of the proceeds, and you can choose to dine in or take out, and all the details will be posted soon. So we're hosting an end of the year social for one enrichment opportunity. This will take place on Saturday, April 24th at 3 p.m. and it will be for one hour on Zoom. Um, please keep your cameras and mics on unless you have a lot of background noise and officers will be taking note of those with cameras and mics off with no excuse and discredit their enrichment. So uh, Elkins Pals is hosting our annual cultural diversity fair and they need your help. Come perform slash present our virtual in our virtually, virtual diversity fair. Uh, show off your culture by dancing, singing, showcasing cultural art, etc. Um, please make sure to follow the filming guidelines that are outlined in the follow-up email when you sign up from Pals if you decide to participate. Um, your participation will equal one enrichment credit and the details are already posted on our website. So we're going to be having a writing competition. Um, you can write about your favorite part of the Hispanic culture. Submission of one quality paper will be one enrichment credit, and you can also earn an additional volunteer hour if you are the winner. Uh, make sure that you don't translate anything because we'll be able to tell if you did. And if you do translate, we're going to not award you any credit. Uh, and full details are on our website. So members can create a narrated PowerPoint slides for one enrichment or two hours based on quality you can pick. So the submissions will be due April 25th at 11.59 p.m. So you will need to submit via a Google form and you need to share the link to your PowerPoint and you will be able to specify what, um, what credit you choose within the form. So you should include um, a Latin American country or Hispanic dish or food and its cultural significance. You must narrate the PowerPoint in either English or Spanish by inserting in an original audio clip per slide. So we want high quality pictures. They can be from any source and make sure it's not too short or too long. So here's some guidelines for if you write about what things you should include for your credit. So make sure they include graphics and a narration audio and a, just decent formatting. So full details and a guide for entering audio will post it on the website to be able to look out for that. So the cultural, uh, cultural diversity initiative team is seeking to increase awareness and celebrate the diverse student population at Elkins. And right now they're currently open to suggestions about any Hispanic holidays or celebrations that you guys would like to see celebrated. So you guys can send in five holiday ideas with 
um, good explanations providing why you chose the celebration and all of that will equal one hour. Make sure that your ideas are thorough and in complete sentences and each explanation must be at least three sentences long. So of course, all the details, including the form for submissions will be posted on our website. So sorting book donations is one of our new in-person opportunities. Um, because it's in person, we are not responsible for any harm or damage. So just be careful to follow the CDC guidelines. So basically you'll be sorting books, packaging them, shipping them off. Um, they meet at a warehouse every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then just check our website for sign up and then recommendations. Another in-person volunteering opportunity that we have is, is to decorate hospital rooms. And so Deck My Room is a nonprofit organization that decorates hospital rooms for kids to cheer them up. So members will first start out by gathering supplies and have, uh, having the organization assemble a team for finding the right uh, decorations. They will then transform the hospital room into a cozy and personalized room for, children pati uh, for child patients to heal in during their, ex their extended stay. And the patients, you know, they look forward to staying in their new decorated hospital rooms. And then it's just a nice opportunity to help make the lives of uh, these patients better. So quiz time. Uh, ¿A qué hora será el examen nacional de español? Good. Somebody put B in the chat. That is the correct answer. So the first section was yesterday at three, and the second section will be today at three. If you, for some reason, missed the first section, then reach out to Dr. Torres as soon as possible so that we can work out some time for you to take it. Uh, and once more, before you go, just make sure to put your student ID in the chat and we will see you soon. Um, seniors don't need to attend the next meeting, so this will be your last ever SHH meeting. Um, we hope to see you at the Senior Awards Parade or Celebration and at graduation. Bye.